Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we have episode number 11 of our Juventus career mode on FIFA 19. Now, today's episode is um, going to be a long one. Uh, I've got a lot of action uh, for you guys which hopefully you will enjoy. Um, before we do get into the highlights, um, if you could please drop a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated. Um, as a support for this series has always been great so far. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy of how this series has gone, as it is going to be coming to a close this week, as um, that I only have like three more episodes to upload, and then that's it, the series is finished. So I hope you are looking forward to that. Um, I will be premiering and starting my Wolfsburg career mode on Friday. So if you could leave a comment on this video as well, that'd be greatly appreciated, just to let me know your thoughts on the video and the series so far, as we are coming to a close. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because um, the growth has been crazy uh, recently and um, I'd uh, really appreciate that. Now, moving on into this first game was against um, uh, Caligri or Caligri, yeah, uh, don't know, it's literally this is how you pronounce it, probably not, but anyway, we start off um, pretty strong in this game. We started off with quite a few chances um, within the first 10 minutes, I guess. Rabio coming close there with a nice first shot. Um, we he, they get a chance here with the ball whipped in, but Keeley has to deal with it really quickly. And we go on a counter attack ourselves. Dybala picks up the ball from Costa, plays a great ball over the back of the defence uh, into Bale. He cuts and sarp, well he crosses it, sorry, into Costa. Good header, but unfortunately um, he did not put it away. Now Rabio picks the ball up, tries to play it to Pogba, just went to uh, Cancelo. I tried the spectacular. And I completely bottled it. Uh, went so far wide. I uh, think it was probably closer to the corner flag than the actual goal itself. Um, great effort there from um, uh, Pedro, I think his name was. Um, uh, just going wide of the post with uh, the uh, volley there. Costa, nice little bit of skill here. Cuts inside again. Plays it across to Rabio, who lays it off to Paul Pogba. He takes the touch and rifles it into the top corner. You're never saving that. What a goal from Paul Pogba. He's scored like literally. I think every goal he scored for us in this career mode has literally been like that type of goal. Get it on the edge of the box and just drill it into the top corner. Uh, so I'm really happy with how Pop has played for us so far this uh, career mode. Uh, also, another new signing, Bale. He's played very well for us. Puts a nice low ball in, but unfortunately I couldn't get there ahead of the centre back who cleared the ball. Uh, we do get a corner here. Dabala whips it in. Bale's there. He puts it into the back of the net with a really nice goal. Um, two of our signing, two of our new signings, um, scoring in this game. Really powerful header. Um, no one was ever going to beat him there. He he jumped up early, got there ahead of everyone else, and uh, it was a really nice header. Uh, 38th minute now, they whip a ball in, and I just don't get. I just don't get what how this goal happens because the striker, right? He's headed it, but it's just the header is so like he's outside the box. Oh, okay, he's just inside it, but look, how is he scoring that? Chesney's no man's land, off his line completely, and he's just let the ball go over him. Didn't even attempt to save it, just watched the ball. Anyway, we go straight back with Gareth Bale, gets fouled. Um, I was going to carry on with Pogba, but I just decided to not touch anything and just get the uh, free kick. Uh, Joao Pereira, or Joao Pedro, or something like that, just got a yellow card. Ronaldo, can he score from this free kick? No, but it wasn't... Okay, it, it wasn't... Okay, it wasn't close, but it wasn't that bad. So that's why I showed you guys, you know, Ronaldo spectacular could have happened. Uh, good ball in there, good defending from Sandro. The rebound mm, forces Chesney to make a great save. And then the second rebound is just straight into Chesney's hands. Um, into the second half now, uh, Bale cuts inside, really nice cut inside again. Uh, lays it off to Dybala, who plays Ronaldo, and that's a great team goal. Really, really nice goal there from us, um, which uh, I think... Seals the game off in my opinion because uh, three one up uh, against Calagri. Uh, we probably uh, probably could score more. You know, there's not that much. I mean, there's quite a lot of time left in this half. Bale goes on a nice little run here. Obviously, you know what Bale's going to do. You know he's going to shoot. Uh, really unlucky not to get the goal there. Uh, Ronaldo gets tackled there, and then I I thought it was going to be a free kick, but it wasn't. Pogba wins it back, gives it away straight away. Uh, we do have a nice press here with uh, Dybala who um, has so many options, there's only one to play it across to Rabiot, Rabiot finishes it, top corner, coolly done, uh, really really nice finish, a lot of goals in this game and uh, most of them were coming quite quickly in the second half, 
uh, well two of them uh, came really quickly after one another uh, Rabio getting on the score sheet he does tend to get um, a couple of goals you know for us so far this season um, Nice ball from Costa to Sandro who whips the ball in. Not a bad ball, but there wasn't players in the right area. Bale goes for a spectacular after Pogba heads it down to him. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a goal there. Matuidi goes for a nice little effort here and just goes past the post. That could have easily hit the post and gone in, but we're unlucky not to get another goal there. Costa comes off now for Quadrado, um, just giving Quadrado a bit more game time as he's didn't really hasn't really got much obviously since the, the signings came through. And I don't know how that's a penalty. Chesney makes a really good save initially, Pogba, the guy's about to shoot, Pogba slides in to tackle him, and I swear I got the ball first, I don't know, Is, did I get the ball first? See from that angle it looks like I didn't, but oh, I don't know about that, anyway Haller who's already got himself a goal, can he score again? No, because he bottles the penalty and he tries to chip it over, he tries to dink it down the middle and he just completely bottled it, um, Chesney went the wrong way anyway so it would have gone in if he just did a normal pen. Um, great ball over the top there. I shouldn't have brought the keeper out. I don't know why I did. And then obviously Chesney's tracking back to his line. Unfortunately, couldn't get there. So Calegri score uh, a consolation goal, you could call it. Um, 93rd minute here. They're on the attack to get another one. Uh, ball does try to get whipped in. Unfortunately, uh, fortunate enough for us, we get rid of it. Then we don't. Um, comes into Chesney's hands, and that is a win. 4-2 victory for us against Calegri. Um, really, really well played. Um, solid win for us. So it was a, a must-win game because the top of the table is quite um, is closing in, and now we have this game, a massive game for us against Milan. Um, starting off straight away with Quadrado, uh, slides the ball perfectly into Morata. Can he score? No. Really good effort from Morata though. Um, I've been impressed with Morata as well. He's played very, very well for us um, so far this season. And look at that, Quadrado is in so much space. Uh, and he just takes a great touch into into his stride, shoots and forces a great save from Donnarumma, who tips it over to the bar, over the bar, and we get a corner. Front post, who's that? Uh, I think that was. I was going to say Mandzukic. Yeah, it was Mandzukic. Really nice header. Unfortunately, we had to play our second team against Milan because our players were not f all. Our first team players weren't fully fit, so we had to stick with our second squad which isn't that bad because um you know they're not they're not the baddest of players you know there's a couple of lower rated players but i mean they pull out the wins most times i play them so i'm happy to play them uh we do pick up the ball here with mandzukic uh i thought about playing it first time to quadrado but eventually i do pianic to quadrado quadrado again uh shoots and you just can't save goals the shots like that straight into the top corner. I don't think you get more top corner than that. Really, really nice finish from Quadrado. Uh, nice celebration as well from Quadrado. 2-0 uh, up now, 23 minutes in. We're cruising through this game so far. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, Quadrado, four goals in the Serie A so, so far this season. He's not doing too bad because he's only playing as a sub, really, um, for most games. This is a rare start for him. Obviously, he had to field our second squad. Anyway. Quadrado, moving on in again. He's on for that. Um, uh, he's on for another goal. Lays off to Pjanic. Great save. Not great save. It's a basic save, but I don't know why he pushed out for a corner. Anyway, I'm not complaining. We've got a corner. Not a great delivery, to be honest, but we somehow managed to get a header with Morata. Uh, easy save for Donnarumma again. Uh, nice link up play from uh, <laughs> AC Milan. I just don't get why Perrins tried to make that save. Anyway, we every, the ball's just going everywhere. The players are sliding everywhere, but Perrin makes a really good save again. Um, to stop them from scoring. Uh, ball gets played through to Perrin. Uh, great effort there for first time volley. But uh, yeah, we move on into the 69th minute. I missed the tackle of Regani. I should have probably won that. Uh, he's chasing Suso now. Missed the tackle and then they score. Uh, Rakitic scores. Uh, I think I actually missed out or actually, actually deleted Rakitic's first goal. Unless I've already commented over it and I've completely forgot. <laughs> but anyway, Rakitic scored a screamer in the first one, let's just say that. Anyway, 81st minute, who do we rely on to get another goal? Our youngster, Ki Ki Kian. Kian the youngster, the young striker, 74 rated. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Kian, I think. Because it, yeah, I think it's Kian or Ki yeah, it's got to be Kian. Anyway, great goal from him there. Really nice finish. Uh, 92nd, no, 91st minute. Um, or thereabouts they get the ball here with Luke Shaw of all people 
Regani's tracking him, tracking him, goes to slide in at a completely mistimed the tackle. And you probably can guess what's coming here. Yep, that's a second yellow card and gets a red card, gets sent off. Um, I've really missed time that's really badly which is really annoying but anyway they've got the free kick here can they score from it no because Perrin gets the scraps and boots it out and we do take down a 3-2 victory against Milan very very solid win and a must needed win but now hoo -hoo -hoo, boy have I got a treat for you the next game is the first leg of the Champions League semi-final against Tottenham Bale's playing against his old club <clears throat> There's a lot at stake here, like if we want to push on to win the treble, um, we, we need to win this game or win, win, just win over two legs and get into that final. Anyway, us against Tottenham, here we go, can we get a win? I was actually quite nervous to play this game because Tottenham aren't actually a bad side. Every time I play Tottenham in career mode, I, um, I always struggle, I just don't know why. Uh, anyway, Bale, ball gets played in, cuts inside greatly, goes for a finish shot, I should have laid that off to Ronaldo, I'm an idiot. I'm watching this back, and I look at it, and then I realise, yeah, I should have passed that across. Woeful attempt of a pass there from Bale, uh, and then Tottenham break, Kane's got the ball, lays off to Ericsson, and great save from Chesney in the 20th minute, pushing it out for a corner, otherwise Ericsson probably would have scored that. Um, Lucas Moura picks up the ball, I read that so well, Dybala on the counter charge. Not many players forward with us. Uh, in terms of this, but anyway, Bale gets it just about, plays it back to Dybala, I see the run of Costa, uh, I eventually try to play a ball in, he just doesn't get there in time, which is really annoying, because I reckon we could have scored from that, anyway, tackle Kane, we get the ball back, Ronaldo ends up with the ball somehow, and um, he plays a nice ball over to Costa, looks like it's going out, but he just about keeps it in, cuts inside, whips the ball across the face, Dybala gets a chance, shoots, misses, Ronaldo hits the crossbar, literally you'd bank on Ronaldo to score from there, Anyway, just before half time, we are closing in uh, to that half time whistle. Ericsson, nice drag back, and yeah. <sighs> Frustrating because you just can't save those goals. You just can't. Ericsson with a great goal. Probably could have pressed them a little bit better with one of my centre backs or centre midfielders, but um, you can't take it away from Ericsson. It was a great finish. Uh, 50th minute now, five minutes into the, the second half. Slides it across to Ericsson, and he drills it into the bottom corner. Um, yeah, really annoying. Uh, goal to concede near post as well. Chesney questions about him. Um, not great at all. I probably I don't even know what I could have done better here. It's just sliding in with Kiwini, sliding in with Sandro, and then Ericsson just bangs it into that bottom corner um, to make it two 0 This is a worrying time for us as we are trailing two 0 especially two away goals as well. Anyway. Cancelo on the ball, cuts and sides, what can he do with it? He goes for a shot and it's straight at the keeper, unfortunately. Um, anyway, moving on into some substitutions. I needed to change the game up and I just needed to bring on some attack and force. Quadrado on, Murata on, um, Bale and Dybala go off. Um, Ronaldo drops back into the central attack and mid role uh, in, in replace of Dybala and then Murata just goes up top. Um, anyway. Nice clearance there, we eventually get the ball away, but then it goes straight back to Illa Remendi. Uh, they're playing this one-touch football, I just couldn't get the ball back from them. Uh, Sonny Boy whips it into Kane, Kane to Ericsson. He's on the hattie, he's on the hattie, he's on the hattie, and he gets it. It's just, ah, oh, the defending, it was so bad there. The defending was shocking. I can't believe how bad that defending was. We're 3-0 down, this is very worrying. When we were 2-0 down, it was worrying, now it's very worrying. I'm actually worried that we might get knocked out in the first game, let alone the second leg. Quadrado drives on from the uh, kickoff, forces a great save from Lloris, as that was probably flying into the top corner. Um, Lloris catches the ball just about, and our two players just have a spasm. Anyway, Ronaldo on the free kick. Was going to shoot, but I thought, I'm trailing too much, I need to play the ball and get the ball on the deck. Ronaldo goes for a shot after he gets it back from Sandro. Probably was going on target at least. Um, but anyway, corner, whips in by Pogba. Can we get something? Flicks it across? No. Um, 80th minute, we're struggling in this game, really bad. Ronaldo picks up the ball, uh, nice run, good save from Lloris again. Lloris is a really good goalkeeper in my opinion, I think he's a great keeper. Um, uh, four, no, 4-0, four yeah, it is 4-0, because <laughs> um, the corner gets whipped in, great save from Chesney initially, but no one was there to help him out and just boot the ball out, and the reactions were so bad of the team, 
all people to score. Fernando Llorente scores a bloody goal. I just... Oh, 4-0 down. This is so worrying. And I mean so worrying that we might get um, knocked out of the Champions League. Ericsson with a hat-trick. Um, but anyway, there is a second leg and it is in this episode. So don't worry, you won't be missing out. Anyway, moving on into the first simmed game um, of the... Um, episode um playing against spal away from home i kind of simmed it because because just because i wanted to get on with the tottenham game and get this out of the way i thought it'd be an easy win uh yeah i was uh, kind of wrong on that one because um we do concede a goal in the 31st minute a penalty and after that they score again same player same striker uh antonucci <laughs> antonucci scores two and we lose two nil now if there is a god in the FIFA career mode, ultimate difficulty, Champions League semi-final, I don't even know what I've just said. But all I'm saying is we're down 4-0 to Spurs and now we have to go to Spurs' ground and play. All I'm saying is we need a miracle if we want to even get, if it, even if we want to get to um, extra time because think about it we need to score four and Tottenham not to score at all after they've just demolished us 4-0 anyway risky play there from the centre-backs there trying to clear that ball trying to pass it to each other within the like like six yard box anyway we get the ball eventually we get the ball out Ronaldo picks it up great ball to Costa what can he do with it he sends Dybala through can we get a chance from this um, counter-attack? Ronaldo picks up the ball, gives it back to Dybala, cuts inside, back to Ronaldo. Can he shoot? No, he doesn't bother. Pogba, turn, gives it to Rabio. This is just t literally take a tacker at the edge of the box. And Rabio fucks it. And uh, just tack we just get tackled. Um, which was really frustrating because we could have created a chance there. Lucas Moura on the ball. Uh, plays a nice ball to Ericsson, makes forces Chesney to make a good save because I don't even know if that was going to go in or not. So he had to make the save either way because obviously he can't tell. Um, I don't know if it was going in. It might have hit the post. Not sure. But anyway, good save from Chesney. Um, we get a corner. They get a corner here. Sorry. Uh, Lucas whips it in. Good header from Sandro to get it out. Um, Ericsson just about keeps the ball in play. Nice little flick on to Lucas back to Ericsson. Can Ericsson do anything with it? Um, gives it back to Lucas. They're literally playing football with each other. Trippier on the ball. Lucas. Harry to Kane. I don't know what Kane was trying there, to be honest. Um, yeah. Anyway, we get a chance here. 35th minute. Darbala, great tackle. Can he shoot? What? That, that's a world class save from Lloris. What a save. I can't believe that happened. Anyway, Darbala whips it in. Ronaldo, he's there. See, we need to be scoring chances like that in a game like this. We have to. We have to. We just can't afford to miss those chances. Anyway, Rabio, great ball over to Bale. Just about wins it off uh, Peters there. Ronaldo, Dybala, can he score? Yes, he can. 45th minute, um, just the start of ad additional time. Dybala gets a goal back for us. And this is it, lads. This is the start of the comeback. I said when I was playing this game, I need a goal before half time if I want to even get a chance of getting a, um, getting a draw in this game to put us through to... Um, extra time now half time is here i had to go for it i was i wasn't getting enough chances and i wasn't scoring enough goals i had to go 424 this is my all out attack formation which i literally it's just yeah um so this is the team i went with rabi and Polper in the middle dabala out wide and costa and then bale and ronaldo up front um Polper makes a great tackle there surprised it wasn't a free kick anyway it doesn't matter douglas costa on the ball what can he do with it not much um but yeah, we, they're just playing it around. Peters gets caught out again. Pogba to Costa. Costa somehow finds Ronaldo. And Ronaldo scores. 62nd minute. 4-2 on aggregate. 2-0 on the night. Can we do this? This is getting intense because we are very close to getting... With two more goals. We've already scored two in this game, so why can't we score two more? Anyway, Lorente picks the ball. Good ball in. Nearly gets out on Ericsson's head. Um, we get a counter-attack here. Dybala, Ronaldo, Bale. They're all up there. Costa's there as well. Does Ronaldo need Costa? Does he need him? Does he need him? No, he doesn't. He just goes himself. Great counter-attack from Juventus there. Um, 74th minute. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, what can I say? Ronaldo to D Douglas Costa. Costa goes to cut it inside to Pjanic. To Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Bale. Bale, what was that pass? And, yeah. Sanchez clears it and we lose. So, we are out of the Champions League. 
at the semi-final stage and we do get knocked out by Tottenham who reached the final. Very frustrating because that was one of the main objectives to win this season and I've, I've messed it up. But anyway, last game is a sim game against Fiorentina at home. Um, this is going to be the last game of the episode. Um, anyway, Quadrado, 12 minutes in, great goal from Quadrado. Um, scoring again, that's his fifth goal of the season. And Rata picks up a goal for himself to make it 2-0 to us against Fiorentina. Um, we do pick up another goal, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Quadrado gets another one. And uh, anyway, guys, this game, easy win for us. This is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new, turn post notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.